All right, all right, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. God, dog, you know, I, I'm watching, I had like two screens up, man. And I caught this fight earlier today, man. But then, you know, I was out working. And then Invicta came on, so I had to start watching that. But, guys, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, Alexander Usyk versus Gasser. Guys, guys, guys. Look, man, Usyk took this boy to school, man. Usyk took him to school. Look, man, <laughs> this was a jab festival. I mean, Usyk jabbed this dude to damn death. I mean, it's like, you know, Gasser, all he did was follow Usyk around the ring, man. He didn't even try to really effectively cut off the ring. He didn't do that, man. He just, he was eating jabs all night. That's what this fight was. I was impressed with Usyk, though, man. I, see, I was always a fan. You know, he reminded me of Lomachenko, you know, just a bigger version. That's who he reminded me of. And, uh, you know, I've always been a fan of that particular style. I like, you know, I like the Floyd Mayweather style. I like the Terrence Crawford style. I like the, you know, Val um, I like the, uh, the, uh, I like the Vasily Lomachenko style. And I like the style. He was uh, out boxing most of the night. He came in with some beautiful, you know, one-two combinations. Um, he kept, you know, keeping Gassif off guard, man, and keeping him off balance. Gassif really couldn't do anything, man. He really couldn't. It, he was pretty much, it was embarrassing. It, this was embarrassing for Gassif, man. And I'm sitting here wondering, like, dang, man, is Gassif going to do anything? Is he going to try to turn up the pressure, man? Is he going to try to, you know, try to get in on the inside, do something, man, instead of just getting boxed to death? But nah, man, Gassif really didn't do much anything. He just took an ass whooping. I mean, well, it wasn't like he was, like, damaged. You know, he wasn't damaged heavily. But, you know, he was taking a beating, man. I mean, dude jabbed him. Like, Gassif got a nice jab, man. He nice. I like those jabs, and I like the foot movement, man. I love the foot movement. Because uh, Gassif couldn't do anything, man. He couldn't do anything. Like, Usyk, Alexander Usyk did pretty much whatever the hell he wanted to do. Okay? And I like the way Usyk kept slipping and ducking up under the overhand rights that Gassif kept trying to do, man. And then, you know, he hit him to the body. Then he come back up top. Then he throw a combination. Then he get back out of there. And he kept repeating the process. And it's like Gassif, you know, never made adjustments. Like, all he did, guys, I promise y'all, Gassif was a punching bag with feet. All it was, he was a punching bag with feet, okay, and no brain. He followed Usyk around the ring. Usyk just pot shot at him, jabbed him to death, got back to the center, and he repeated the process. And, boy, look at Abel Sanchez. Y'all see Abel down here in the corner? Look at this guy. Man, man, man. Now we know Abel Sanchez. Boy, could he take somebody else other than Triple G and make him into a winner? No. Abel looked like he pissed. Look at him. Good. When Abel Sanchez is upset, I'm happy about it. Good. Because that Terry Norris style that you tried to put in here, Abel, it didn't work, Abel. It didn't work, Abel. Your boy got his ass whooped, Abel. Good. Good. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Alexander Usyk, man, for putting a boxing clinic on this boy. And now, Abel, now you understand that people that can box, they have value in the sport of boxing. They have value, Abel, but you're too stupid to understand that. Hopefully you will, Abel. Hopefully you will be able to teach your boy how to box. <laughs> Oh, man. Congrats to Alexander Usyk. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.